moment. Your Majesty, microscopic organisms have long been observed. They spring into being of their own accord wherever there's putrid matter or fermentation. They're the result rather than the cause of disease. Louis Pasteur? Now, who is he? He is a menace to science. Now, Monsieur, if Pasteur is allowed to continue, he will make the practice of medicine unsafe for us physicians and surgeons of France. Your Majesty, if I did anything so absurd as to boil my instruments or scrub my hands, they'd think I was a witch doctor resorting to charms and laugh me out of the hospital. Because our criminal disregard of germs and their power to invade the bloodstream is causing a death rate in childbirth alone of three out of every ten mothers. Or in the city of Paris, over 20,000 innocent and helpless women annually. <laughs> You could have done nothing, Doctor. She's been in a coma for two days. Childbed fever? No doubt. Oh, a pity. It was an act of providence. Providence? No, ignorance. You are going to another confinement? Yes, Monsieur. The young Countess de Villefort for Dr. Charbonnet. Please use a clean one. Cecile, boil some water. I'll go back to Annette. A large kettle full. <laughs> You're not going to use those instruments without boiling them. Certainly. I won't permit it. My dear Pastor, I'm doing this as a professional courtesy. Then do it my way. Please. Keep them boiling. Uh, where is the patient? Wait, wait. Wash your hands first. No, 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 no. Take your coat off. Now, now roll up your sleeves. Wash them to the elbows. What's that? Don't be afraid. It's only a little bichloride. I use the brush. The brush, the brush. Julian. Yes, yes, in a moment. There, does that suit you? Yes, that's better. Now, there's a clean towel over there. Cecile, hurry. You may go in now. My daughter's ready. Don't touch it! What? Your hands! Your hands! You've spoiled it now. You'll have to wash them again. See here, I brought hundreds of babies into Remember the world. Remember our bargain. Do as I say. Such foolishness. Now, hold him up high. What next? Touch nothing but the patient. Oh, what about my instruments? They'll be brought to you. Whom are they 
applauding. The speaker, Dr. Lister from England. Lister? Lister to speak against me? Ladies and gentlemen, the tribute that we render Pastor on this occasion is small indeed compared to the countless millions who will honor his memory in generations to come. The vaccines for anthrax and hydrophobia are great accomplishments. But even greater still, I believe, is the fact that thousands of people will be saved from unnecessary death from infection. And mothers need no longer fear surgery or childbirth. In the name of France, I greet you. You young men, doctors and scientists of the future, do not let yourselves be tainted by a barren skepticism, nor discouraged by the sadness of certain hours that creep over nations. Do not become angry at your opponents, for no scientific theory has ever been accepted without opposition. Live in the serene peace of libraries and laboratories. Say to yourselves first, what have I done for my instruction? And as you gradually advance, what am I accomplishing? until the time comes when you may have the immense happiness of thinking that you have contributed in some way to the welfare and progress of mankind. <laughs>